One cold, crisp, magical winter's morning, Thomas the Tank Engine was warming himself in the siding. He had to stay there in the night, having brought in a long goods train the previous evening. His driver had just lit the fire, and it was ready roaring in his firebox. Donald pulled up alongside. Don't you just love the holiday season? said Thomas. Children running around having fun, engines hard at work. And the ground covered in a white blanket of magical snow. Then, Thomas noticed something. Speaking of snow, where's your snowplow? We didn't need one of those things. We're used to this silly saw stuff. Thomas was puzzled. We? he asked. Donald looked behind him. <laughs> oh, where is Dougie? He always seems to be late, you know. Well, I guess I'll have to take the train myself. Thomas looked behind Donald. His train was awfully long and looked very heavy. Even if you're late, I do think you should wait for Douglas. The rails are icy and can get very slippery. Better safe than sorry. Donald paid no attention. Off we go then. Goodbye, ye wee Thomas. <phone rings> and with that, he puffed away. Just as Donald disappeared around the corner, Douglas came whizzing round the other. Ugh, wait for me, Donald! Donald slammed on his brakes. Douglas quickly slammed on his brakes as well, but he was going so fast that he slid instead and stopped. Thomas looked in horror. Percy, James and Mike had to help clear the mess. I have so much work to do, said Percy, and now I will have to work even later to finish it all. We get no rest, said James. Especially in this cold weather, added Mike. My buffers feel as if they're going to fall off, finished Percy. Thomas was dismayed. All my friends are letting their anger foreshadow the holiday cheer, said Thomas. He was trying to figure out how he could help them realise what they were missing. Later on, he met Edward at the station. He told Edward what had happened. Edward smiled. All it is, is the chilling temperatures getting inside the engine's boilers. Even I tend to let it get to me sometimes. But then I remember, all the work we're doing is to help put the happy in the happy holidays. Meanwhile, the Fat Controller was at the sheds briefing Oliver on the day's work, when Thomas pulled up. He told the Fat Controller what the engines had been saying, and then what Edward had said. And what do you expect me to do for you, Thomas? said the Fat Controller. Thomas whispered his plan to the Fat Controller. The Fat Controller grinned. Of course, Thomas, he said. We can't have engines not getting into the Christmas spirit now, can we? Thank you, sir, called Thomas. Later, James, Percy and Mike arrived at the junction. There were three loads for each of them. What is this? Some sort of game? asked James, annoyed. Then, the Fat Controller came rushing in. Uh, sorry there, you three. Um, I was tied up at the station making arrangements for the Christmas party. Christmas party, sir? Percy asked. Uh, yes, Percy. There is to be a big Christmas party at the station later tonight. You are each to take your loads to the yard to set up. But what about the work we already have to finish, sir? asked Percy. I've made other arrangements for that. But for now, I want you to all get to the yards quickly to make preparations, said the Fat Controller. Three engines buffered up to their loads and puffed off.
When they arrived at the yard, they saw everyone moving lights, decorations, and getting ready for the big celebration. Bertie the bus also arrived at the station. What are you doing here, Bertie? asked Percy. Bertie smiled. I brought the children. They have been singing songs the whole way here and are very excited for tonight. From inside Bertie, they all heard laughter of the children. A smile was brought to the three engines. But Percy still wondered, who finished the work we originally had to finish? Oh, I must remember, I'm doing this for the engines, and for the children, and of course, for the cheer. I must keep going. Come that night, all the engines had gathered at the station. The fat controller declared the ceremonies open. All the engines let out a happy whistle. James looked to Thomas. Thank you for everything you did. Without you, this night would have been a disaster. Yes, agreed Mike. No one would be in the holiday spirit without you. All we needed, said Percy, was a small reminder. Thomas was pleased. But how did you know it was me? said Thomas. You still have that coal dust on you from my coal train, laughed James. Thomas let off another happy whistle, followed by the others. Thomas had certainly brought out this year's Christmas tree. Merry Christmas from Clarity34 and the Thomas Wooden Guy. Thanks for watching, guys.